friends, it's Miss Seashell here with a special video edition of Toddler Tuesday. We're going to sing our song that we sing every song with, and I'm going to teach you how to speak with your hands. So get your fingers warmed up. You got to wiggle them, play the air piano. All right, so first word we're going to sing is more. So you take your fingers and you pinch them together and you touch the tips of your fingers. More. Well, more. Got it? Together, thumbs up. This is your thumb. This is a very special finger on your hand that we're gonna talk about today when we learn about our animal. So stick your thumbs up, thumbs together. Now we're gonna draw a rocket ship going around the moon in the air. That's the word together. Together, together, together. So we have so far, the more we get together, together. The more we get together. Now we're gonna say the word happy. And happy is taking your heart and pulling it up to your face in a smile. Happy. Putting it all together, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Now the next sign is my favorite, friends. So you take one finger and the other finger and they're friends. Hi friend, hi, I need a hug. Okay, and they give each other a hug. This is the word friends. And we're gonna say, cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. And we're gonna sing it all together with our mouths and our hands at the same time. Are you ready? Okay, sing it with me and do your signs with me too. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! I feel happier already. Well, today we're going to learn about a friend of mine that's an animal. And I'm going to show you how to say it with your hands. So, put your arm out like a, like a twig or a, a stick on a tree. Take your other hand and you're going to take your finger and you're going to hook it on the end and slide it off the tree. This is like the tail of the animal. We have this belief that they hang upside down. Does anybody know what animal I'm talking about? They don't really sleep upside down, but in some shows you can see that they, they pretend like they do. But they hang upside down if they're falling and they can grab with their tail. It's an opossum. Yes, opossum. Can you say that with me? Opossum. Letter O, the letter O. I don't know if you can see it on top of my board, but there's the letter O. And the opossum is different than, a, than the word possum. We used to say possums. We still do, but that's an animal in Australia. So let's learn about opossums today. Are you ready to learn about opossums? All right, let's see. Let's look at my picture here. Opossum. Do you hear the first letter? Opossum. It's a great letter. It's a letter O. Big O, little O. Opossum has a big O and a little O in their name. O possum. This is a beautiful drawing that our naturalist Pam Hewitt made of an opossum. They have some really fun features, characteristics, things the way they look. They have a thumb on their hand. So I have a picture up here 
of opossum tracks. If you out, go out in the morning and you see some dirt tracks and there's handprints in it that look like a human's hand, you have an opossum hanging around your yard. And do you know what rhymes with opossum? Awesome! Just remember that. Opossum feet have thumbs. They have a tail without any hair on it. We say it's a naked tail. And that helps them hold things. Like your thumb holds things, their tail also holds things. So opossums are really, really, really adapted to living in trees, or I've even seen them running on telephone lines before. Crazy opossums, because they live around humans. But just remember, that's awesome. I think we have a visitor. Look friends, it's a real live opossum. This is Jasmine. Jasmine is two years old, but unlike you, some of my friends who are two, she's really old. Opossums don't live very long, but opossums have something special about their babies. She can have up to 12 babies at one time, and she has a special place where she keeps her babies, kind of like a kangaroo. Do you know what I'm talking about? A pouch. She has a pouch. We call her a marsupial. Can you say that word? Marsupial. Marsupial. She has a special pouch where she keeps her 12, up to 12 or so babies, and she carries them around in her pouch. So Jasmine has never had any babies but she does have a pouch. So we talked about the tail, the pouch, and the thumb. Things that make them special animals. There's a lot of things that make them special animals. Remember, what starts with, what rhymes with opossum? Awesome. She's sniffing, using her nose, and she's got whiskers on her face too. Whiskers that help her find food or detect things moving around in the grass or in the trees that she's hanging out in. This is our friend Jasmine, the opossum. Okay, friends, here's a craft that you can make at home that will help remind you all about opossums. And it's about them being marsupials and having a pouch. I'm going to show you how to make your own opossum pouch that you can wear. So you'll need some yarn, oh, a good wingspan of yarn, any color mat works. Put a little scotch tape on the end so it acts kind of like a sewing needle. You need two pieces of felt cut into a U shape. If you don't have felt, it's okay. You can make it out of paper and you'll need a hole puncher to punch holes in your paper or believe it or not, it actually will cut into felt and you're gonna cut them in a row all the way around the paper or all the way around the felt. Then you take your yarn with your ma masking tape needle on it and you're going to pull it, put it through the holes and pull it about mm, a little more than halfway. A little more than halfway. And then you can just go around, sewing around and around and around and around, all the way around till you get all the way around the pouch. This pouch has been turned inside out. The more holes you make, the tighter it'll be. Then you have a pouch that you can wear. Now, you need some babies for your pouch if you're a marsupial. We can use, I made a, 
a photocopy of a possum. If you have a copier at your house or a printer at your house, you can print up a bunch of little pictures and you can count how many possums they have. Two, three, four, five, six. This pouch had six babies. Now, if you don't have a printer at your house, you can use beans. Let's count how many babies there are. One, two, three. What comes after three? Four, five, six, still room. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve baby opossums in your pouch. about opossums and I wrote it all about all their characteristics their naked tail their thumbs marsupials that are omnivores let's read a story remember we talked about how they're they live near people that's kind of what this story is about it's called possum comes a knocking at the door by Nancy Van Lan illustrated by George Booth. Get your cozy seat. We're going to read a story now. Possum comes a knocking at the door, at the door. Possum comes a knocking at the door. <laughs> Granny was a sitting and a rocking and a knit when possum comes a knocking at the door. Ma was busy cooking in the kitchen making taters when a possum comes a knocking at the door. Pa was busy fixing and a banging and a pounding when a possum comes a knocking at the door. Pappy was a whittling making play toys for the baby when a possum comes a knocking at the door. Sis was tossing baby while Pappy was a whittling when a possum comes a knocking at the door. 
brother was entangling all the twiny line for fishing while sis was fuss tossing baby and pappy was a whittling. And pa was busy fixing and ma was busy cooking and granny was a knitting when a possum came knocking at the door. Coon dog was a twitching and a scratching in the corner when a possum comes a knocking at the door. Tom cat started sniffing and a spitting and a hissing when a possum comes a knocking at the door. Yeah. <gasps> What's that? Sis said. Don't know, brother said. What's that? Pa said. Don't know, Granny said. But that cat, she gotta go. Then dogs started sniffing and a pawn and a growling while the cat's tail's a twitching. It was a hissing and a howling, making granny stop a knitting and pappy stop a whittling. And baby started fussing. Sis and brother started cussing cause a little old possum was knocking at the door. What's that? Granny said. Don't know, Pappy said. What's that? Ma said. Don't know, Pa said. Then I creepy crossed the floor and peeked under the door. It's a possum! It's a possum! It's coming knocking on the door! It's a possum! It's coming knocking on the door! Then brother came a leaping and, and sis came a running and baby came a crawling and dog started howling and pappy was a chuckling and granny's eyes was tinkling, twinkling and ma followed pa to the door. Now hush! Pa said, now hush, Ma said, and slowly Pa opened up the door. Now y'all stop your hollering, your fussing, and your cussing, cause there's nothing that's knocking on the door. No possum, Pappy said, no possum, Pa said, no possum. Granny said, no possum, Ma said. Then we all started doing as before. Granny was a sitting while Pappy was a whittling. Ma was a cooking while Pa was a fixing. Brother was untangling while sis was tossing baby. Coon dog was a scratching while Tomcat was a licking. And I was just a sitting and a looking out the window. When I saw what I saw, scoot up the old oak tree. A possum was a scoochin' and a scramblin' and a danglin'. That possum that was knockin' made a fool out of me. Maybe one day a possum might come knocking at your door. How lucky would you be? Thanks for watching this video edition of Toddler Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video, like us below and consider joining us in person at Oatland Island Wildlife Center. But remember to pre-register at www.oatlandisland.org. And as I said before, the more we get together, the happier we'll be.